hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be cooking a recipe called lentil and plantain moi moi i was actually talking about this with somebody so i've never tried it before but when we try it together we'll see if it works or if it doesn't work this is a do as i say and not do as i do recipe okay right so first of all you will need um two onions depending on how many onions how much you like onions mom if you're watching this you can use five onions this is a red bell pepper you only need one these are yellow chilies you can literally use any color but i only had yellow at home but again adjust this to your spiciness level if you want it you know hotter then use three or four right this is some palm oil i know some people like to make moi moi with um vegetable oil but that is not to me i don't like anemic moi moi i like my moi moi red like blood so you can use vegetable oil for this instead so this is some onion ginger and garlic powder that i made myself in my air fryer if you want me to show you how to make it just let me know okay this is some crayfish which you will need i'm very ashamed about how little i had in the house so if you have more please use more you need some seasoning cubes not necessarily maggi and you can't make lentil and plantain moi moi without your lentils these are red lentils that i got from my local asda and this is some salt which you need because you can't you know cook without salt <laughs> And these are some plantains because, like I said, you can't make lentil and plantain when we're without plantains. These are eggs for extra vavavoom, but it is optional. This is fish, shredded fish. Again, optional, but again, vavavoom. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is blend everything together. All the uh, measurements are going to be in the description box, so you don't have to go ahead with me, okay? You don't have to follow me. You know bumper to bumper but essentially you just peel everything and um you what you want to do is blend with water okay so these are the lentils going into the blender and then i'm just going to add some water and i'm going to blend all of them together okay so like i said this is a do as i say and not do as i do recipe because you get to adapt it to how you like your moi moi i like mine really soft and fluffy and that's why i've used a lot of water but the water in the description is for like regular firm moi moi if you want your moi moi to be strong like stone then just reduce the water basically um so when everything has been poured in a bowl you just put all the seasoning together and taste look at this these seasoning cubes are stronger than Hulk Hogan, honestly. In fact, they are stronger than Ulumorok. I had, in fact, I should have used a hammer to break these things into the, the bowl because this is ridiculous. Jeez, do you have issues with with them um, crumbling your seasoning cubes as well? And how do you solve it? I usually put mine beside um, heat when it's cooking, but I didn't, I didn't have any heat on and I didn't have the time to wait. Other times I just crush it with my rolling pin. Okay, so look at me adding the palm oil now and look at how lovely and red this has become. If you add vegetable oil, it will just be white like snow. But this is, ugh, I love palm oil moment and that is all I will have going forward. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is all mixed and ready and I've checked for the seasoning. So we're just going to put them into the ramekins now. I got these ramekins from Poundland for one pound each. And that's, we usually don't really like old moi moi. So we usually try and make only six so that we can finish everything the same day or the next day. And because moi moi is really easy to make now, I don't really have to worry about how long it will take to make. So should we play a game? Are you able to get this into the ramekins without spilling anything on the sides? If you are, let me know because I'll be really impressed. I am, as you guys already know, I'm kind of a clumsy person and that's why I'm not a surgeon. But every time I tried to be like really, really careful, I always ended up spilling something on the side. But I did clean it up, okay? Other people don't clean things up. I, you know, I cleaned it up. So at least... I did well in that regard 
so just fill everything don't fill it as as full as i've done don't make it as full as i've done because that was a mistake and some of it's actually spilled in the pot when i was cooking so if you just fill it halfway that would be great if you have leaf as well the moin moin leaf that would be best because for flavor you know and things like that mommy if you're watching this i'm really sorry that i never learned how to use the moin moin leaves okay i just use these ramekins so you fill it with your goodies so the eggs and the fish this is called moin moin with seven lives moin moin elemi meji that's that's what you call it because it has seven lives so i kind of ran out of ramekins and i'm using these tiny ones i actually got these from poundland as well and they were about three for one pound so all you have to do is steam for about 40 minutes and your lentil and plantain moin moin will be ready okay so this is what it looks like when it's ready just nice and soft and fluffy so like i said if you want yours to be a bit firmer then just follow the descriptions in the description box below so now let's see what my um, reviewer has to say about it let's see if he likes it i hope he does because i've spent time okay <laughs> So what do you think? It's kind of different. It's not. It's not the grainy kind of moin moin. It's very smooth. Okay. I think that side that I tested. I'm gonna try that side. Just because I didn't eat any fish. Mmm. <laughs> this is good. But there's a distinct taste. You can taste the moin moin and the fish and the eggs as well. Okay. Um, so this is really good. Somewhere between 7.5 and 8. Okay. okay. But as you can see, I'm just digging it anyway. And, um, nice. Awesome. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And let me know if you're going to try this recipe. Thank you. See you next week. Bye.